Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys four peach recipes for summer. All of these recipes will be linked in the description below, but this first recipe is peach butter. Peach butter is great to have on hand in your refrigerator this summer. You can use it as a topping for ice cream, yogurt, you can spread it onto some muffins or bread, really anything. It is super sweet and super delicious. Making peach butter is especially easy and simple if you have an instant pot. Don't worry, if all you have is a slow cooker, that is okay. It'll just take you quite a bit longer. With an instant pot, you can do it in under eight minutes, but with a slow cooker, it will take a few hours. All of the peaches that I am using in all of these recipes this week came from a local farm stand. And with inflation and prices at the grocery store ever going up, I encourage you all to check out local farm stands. In my area at least, they tend to be a whole lot cheaper than the grocery store. Now take note of this next step. You're going to want to save that syrup if you want to make the very next recipe that I am going to show you. I do want to remind you all that the links to all of these recipes will be in the description down below. Now, this isn't a shelf-stable jar, so you will need to put this in the refrigerator once you've jarred it up. Now on to our next recipe, peach and blackberry fruit sweet tea. I'm very excited to have received some tea, some loose leaf tea from Euphoric Herbals, which is a local small business here to the DMV area. Now this is my own recipe. I am boiling three cups of water and adding four tablespoons of loose leaf tea to some cheesecloth, which I am going to tie off. And then in the next clip, you're going to see me steep the tea. I steeped it for 10 minutes. Once the tea has been steeped, I go ahead and squeeze it out. And this is where that peach syrup comes into play. I go ahead and pour that cup of peach syrup in and then I add some sugar to my liking. And then I add that hot tea to some ice in my pitcher and I top it off with a little bit of more water. This next recipe again is one of my own recipes and it's grilled peaches and it is so easy and so quick, especially on a summer weekend. Go ahead and slice your peaches in half and take out the core. And then after you have done that, you can plate them up how you want or just leave them as is and sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on top. that you can go ahead and put them on the grill just keep an eye on them it takes about 15 minutes and then flip them over and let that sugar caramelize on top and serve with vanilla ice cream the last recipe I have for you all today again will be linked down in the description and it is a good old-fashioned peach cobbler With this recipe, I did not exactly follow it to the T. You'll notice when you go read the recipe and then compare it to my video, I skipped steps, I combined steps, but that is the beauty about baking and cooking. You can kind of play around with things and put your own twist on things and be creative in the kitchen. One small piece of advice that I want to give you all 
is if you think the bowl you are using is big enough, chances are it isn't and you really should use an even bigger bowl. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. <laughs> the bowl is too small to mix everything together. If you have made it this far in my video, please visit my comments section and let me know what is your favorite summer dessert. And if you have a link to that recipe that is your favorite, please share it with me. I do want to try new things this summer. for coming along on this little baking and cooking journey with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!